Hi everybody, how are you? It's Leslie from Leslie's Creative Studio and welcome to my creative year for July 2019. Um, our tutorial prompt for this month is architecture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to steal, and yes, I said steal, um, an idea that, or a design concept that Shannon Green did a long time ago, and I did a video on this a long time ago, but I'm going to add to it a little bit, but I want to use it as a background, but you'll see what I mean. What I need to do is I need to cut these five sheets of paper to, these are 12 by 12, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do know how to count, I promise. Actually, I think I want this one back here. I'm going to be cutting these into one quarter inch strips. And I have um, double sided tape. This is score tape. So I'm going to be using that and my page. So let me get this all started. And actually, you know what? I'm probably just going to put this in fast forward for you. Um, once I get everything cut, you really. I mean, I'm just going to take the score tape and fill this entire page with it. So that's really kind of boring. I'm sure you really don't want to see that. But once I get all of this done, I'll be back. So see you in a few minutes. Okay, friends, here we are. I have put on here, let's see if I turn it this way, you'll be able to see it better. Double stick tape. And I think this is a half inch, but it's double stick on both sides. Um, so that's already on there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ta -da, pokey tool and I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and off to my side over that way. I have one, two, three, four, five different types of 12 by 12 uh, paper that I have cut into one quarter inch strips. So I'm going to be layering those across here. So I'm going to pull this up and then when I start to layer the paper, I'll come on back, but I'm going to probably put it in fast forward so that you don't have to watch the prolonged process of that. And you can watch how I lay the design out. All right. So let me get this all peeled up and we'll get to work. All right, I've gone ahead and taken the um, the uh, protective coating off my adhesive. So now this is all sticky. And I did kind of, before I took it off, I did kind of lay some pieces out to see how I wanted this to lay. And I did mark a starting point from here to here for where I want to lay my very first strip. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it and um, lay these out. And I hope you enjoy the process. And I hope you really like it. I'll see you.
stuck down really good. Now I'm going to flip it over and trim it, and this is where the magic happens. getting sticky. this over kind of out of kind of sort of out of the way all right you ready ta-da how's that didn't that turn out cool look at that now that is fresh ready now you can throw um, some matte medium over the top of this to seal it down real good so that nothing lifts on it. Um, you can also, I've also, before, I've used a um, black to below all and highlighted each of the lines. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that on this one because I really love how the dark, the dark gold really comes through. This one turned out really neat. I think this will make an awesome journal cover. So this is um, lines for um, my creative year for the architecture prompt. And a line is part of architecture. It was also one of our words, uh, creative words that we did. I think it was one of mine for a Saturday. I can't remember which one it was. But anyway, so this was my project really simple and easy to do. Um, I just used quarter inch strips of um, scrapbook paper that I had laying around. Um, and just, you know, like I said, just cut them into quarter inch strips. Um, you could use uh, just regular glue, um, but I think you're going to get, um, I think it works better when you use a double sided tape on this. <clears throat> it seems to work better. 
So yeah, this is how it turned out. I, I really hope you like it. I love it. I think it turned out really neat. So anyway, that's my project. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you give it a try. Um, like I said, it'd be great for a journal cover. You could put a, you know, a, oh shoot, what do you call them? Those little metal things that go right here. Nameplate. Good grief. Uh, menopause brain. You could put a little nameplate right here and, you know, label it. So there it is. Um, happy creating. Happy month of July. And I hope you guys have a great month. And I hope you have a great time of creating. So I'm going to get going. Everyone take care. And remember, be nice. It's not that difficult. See you later. Bye-bye.